Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you as always for coming back. Thank you for clicking play. Today then we have Valencia in the Supercoppa. We have both legs up at the Mestalla first and then at the Camp Nou. Um, we've got a big old news roundup with plenty of news from the summer and some massive transfer news. And yeah, we'll get straight in to both legs of the Supercoppa. First item in the news roundup today then is about Javier Mascherano. Now you may remember that he said last season that he wanted to leave to go back home. So what we've done is we tried to sell him. We couldn't. I didn't want to risk him becoming unhappy about that. So we offered him a mutual termination. He had a year left on his contract. Uh, 1.8 million euros was a fee agreed, agreed and he has moved on after eight years. Fantastic service. Gracias, Senor Mascherano. You have been fantastic for us over the years. So uh, enjoy your new life. Incidentally, he played a couple of um, testimonials for Messi and PK in the summer, and it actually looks like he's retiring. So it's probably a good thing that we released him. Um, Manchester City, this is one of many offers for big players at the club. Uh, made an offer for Jordi Alba, 41.5 million, rising to 59. It was rejected because we have the asking price set to his 150 million euro release clause. Um, this one, though, this one. Oh, this one. Um, 52 million, rising to 74 for Sergio Busquets, who is valued at 71 million. He's accepted it because I didn't have his asking price set to his release clause, which I've learned seems to be a thing that allows. Um, the director of football to re actually reject offers. Um, more on Busquets in a second. Abel Ruiz has signed a new contract as well, which is fantastic news. A minimum fee of 17 and three quarter million now. Really good to get him tied down. And look at this. Sergio Busquets has gone to Manchester City. Uh, absolutely shocking because as well you may remember that we the financial state has hadn't improved at this point and we've still only got a third of that money so we only got 15 and a quarter million into the transfer kitty not good not good at all uh, Sergio Roberto came to us wanting to uh, leave the club so we had a chat with him um, because of the sale of Busquets um, but we we managed to say that I said we've got players, confidence in players such as Sergio Samper and he said all due respect don't think the youngsters are ready to step up to replace him um, and I just said look it's done what do you want me to do about it it's done um, just get on with your job and Sergio Roberto took that well and is all good but of course Sergio Busquets going means that we have got an offer for a player coming in um, and Sergio Samper was not happy. I'll show you the player that was coming in in a second because Samper came to us because there were reports in the press about signing a, a player. Sergio Samper came to us saying um, pot potential signing of Danilo Pereira might lead to my services no longer being needed. I said, I know where you're coming from, but competition for places is healthy and I just want you to stake a claim for a regular place. And then he was happy with that, said it makes sense. He is definitely in my plans. He can be a real beast. Sergio Busquets leaving might actually be a blessing in disguise for Sergio Samper. Um, so this is Danilo Pereira then. The offer was made, 24.5 million that the offer might rise to. Um, we have a look at him here, Portuguese from Porto. He does look really good. Um, so it's quite a good deal that looks to be coming in. It looks like a really good offer as well because he's valued at 17 and a quarter and the offer is 17 and three quarters, rising to 24 and a half. So, and he's got four years left in his contract. This is why I like the director of football making offers for players because he does get some players really cheap and that is one of them I think. Um, the offer was accepted and the contract was offered. A Dortmund then came in and offered more. They offered a bigger offer, um, 19 and a quarter rising to 27. Obviously ours was already accepted and at the contract stage at this point. Uh, we managed to get rid of Douglas, the flop right back. He's gone to Malaga for 2.1 million. Uh, Mark Andre Stegen signed a new deal, which is fantastic as well. 127 million euro release clause, awesome because the guy is a beast and at 26 can go on to be a legend. And Danilo Pereira rejected Dortmund and came to us, and it's a really good, 
really good signing I think he will go a long long way to filling that gap a rather big gap uh, left by the departure of Busquets and look at this how exciting you have no I, I jumped off the sofa when this when I saw this news item Casper Dolberg the offer made now at this point Real Madrid had already made an offer of about 38 million with incentives so we've offered a little bit more the um, but the, the Real Madrid deal had been made quite a few days ago um, and was at contract stage so it's a bit like the Pereira one for us uh, even though we've outbidded the the uh, deal with Real Madrid is already down the line um, they did Ajax did say they were going to stall because they wanted to hope they were hoping to get a better offer for him um, but then 30 you can see 1126 they stalled and at 12 o'clock they accepted uh, so we offered the contract um, we look here look at the interest in him you've got the offers as I say Real Madrid 38 million and in incentives ourselves 41 million but you've got Bayern, Madri Bayern Munich and Man United also interested in the player so it's going to be really really tough to get it over the line um, season expectations then the UEFA Champions League reached the final I mean come on that's outrageous um, winner it just was non-negotiable of the Liga um, so transfer budget now is 94.6 million and the wage budget is 5.7 there or thereabouts and heartbreak as Casper Dolberg goes to Real Madrid now I've had a few people over that first season commenting that we need to sign this guy so when this happened I was heartbroken um, yeah I mean I jumped out of the seat when the offer was made oh I just slumped in my seat when uh, when he joined that lot. Um, so the World Cup has been going on as well, of course. 2018, Usman um, Dembele continued his Hall of Awards by winning the Golden Ball for his performances. Um, one goal, five assists in six games. Super, super performances from him. He also won the Best Young Player Award. So he's just winning everything at the minute. Um, he's just stealing all the awards. He was in the a team of the tournament as well, along with Jordi Alba, and in the substitutes, um, Lucas Digne, Leo Messi, Sergio Roberto were in there. So really good. Now you may remember Anthony Lozano um, was a player that I was happy to have as a backup striker um, because he's 25 but he was in the B team last season. I reckon he'd be happy playing uh, the support role to Luis Suarez but Werder Bremen came in and made an offer and it was accepted by Luis Campos and it went through quickly. Um, it really did. He's gone and leaves us a little short up front now. We do have Abel Ruiz and you do have Messi that can play there and and there's a couple of others can play up front but in terms of out and out strikers we're a little bit shy now um gerard pk after the world cup then has retired from international football at 31 years of age which is great for us um of course uh samuel and tt offer made from chelsea non-negotiable offer of 60 million um rising to 69 it's been rejected again because we have his fee his asking price set to his release clause so that tells my director of football not to accept anything under it which seems to work really really well I've learned and look at this um, we've made an offer for Philippe Coutinho um, you can see just on the on the left just under the news item we've got the scouting meeting now when I've added players as a transfer target by going into a players page going to transfer add as transfer target the, di the director of football only ever offers a deal worth the valuation and it always gets rejected. So in the scouting meeting, Felipe Coutinho popped up. Uh, he has been doing all season. And I just thought, I'll click add as transfer target. And I did. And he made an 85 million euro offer up front. Straight cash, 85 million euros. We'll see how that turned out in a minute. Uh, Man City came in for Jordi Alba uh, again, 41.5 million rounds to 58, but again, it was rejected. Fantastic. Again, 150 million release clause is the asking price. Liverpool then came back and said, we are willing to discuss an offer for Philippe Coutinho. Now, the, the upfront fee has gone down to 70 million, but we're paying 30.5 million in six instalments, which that seems pretty good to me. I mean, we're going to be paying 101 million in total, but 
quite like that offer and the new bid has been made um, now Coutinho the news item these news items have been popping up all summer and all season and in fact all of the January transfer window as well and look at that 232 million euros is a deal being reported in the papers yeah not quite that much is it so that was the news roundup guys I did touch on the World Cup during it um, and this is how it ended up France ended up winning it so Usman Dembele did win the World Cup uh, they beat Spain 3-1 in the final I did watch the match uh, Spain were rather dominant in the game and France just caught them there were two goals in, the, in in stoppage time at the end of the game it was going to extra time and France popped up with two goals um, Usman Dembele finished as a top assister which is fabulous news um, but yeah that is it shall we have a quick look then at our schedule so you can see what we have coming up so pre-season's gone pretty well a couple of disappointing results in that we lost at home to Dortmund in the in the Messi testimonial we did beat Porto in the PK testimonial though so you can see got Valencia away and at home and then we kickstart our league season with games against Athletic Bilbao, Villarreal and Malaga and then of course the Champions League kicks back it in so it has been a pretty decent um, pretty decent pre-season let's just recap the transfers so you can see we have only brought in two players um, for just under 19 million we've sold 65 million euros worth of players there's just one to show you here and that's Emmanuel Williams he is 16 years of, old, of, of age he's been signed by our head of youth development for the under 19s he does look rather good to be honest um, he does have five star potential so really happy to get him in um, I'm really keen to see how he develops so this is the team we're going with then we've got Mark andre to Stegen in goal Jordi Alba Samuel MTT Gerard Piquet Nelson Semedo at the back Danilo Pereira makes his competitive debut in midfield I was going to play Sergi Samper and Carlos Elena today but they've both played for the B team so they're both tired uh, Rakitic and Paulinho in the center and then it's Dembele Messi and Suarez up top let's get there let's do this <laughs> Here we are in the beautiful Mestalla Stadium. You can see the Valencia team looks pretty much as it does in real life still. And to be fair, there's only one new starter in our team as well, isn't there? So I'm, I'm hoping that our director of football comes up with a, a striker and a, a centre-back. Centre um, but if that Coutinho deal goes through, of course, then maybe not. The um, interest of the Coutinho deal is dependent on Liverpool finding a replacement, so it might not go through. To be honest, we don't need him, but it would be nice to uh, make such a big signing. It really would. Um, so we calmly, we're away, so we're calmly going to say, if we play our game, we'll win. You're all very capable of that. There's no need to get too worked up at the minute. We'll just get out there and let's do this. Suarez gets the game under the way then. Um, so today we're just in the um, just in the Barcelona hoodie today. Um, it's winter, um, so this is pretty much going to be what I wear for the next few videos probably. Um, no shirts, just the uh, just a good old hoodie. So early on you can see Danny Parejo carried an injury. I think he came into the match carrying that. But let's see if we can get an early goal here. Four minutes in, Rakitic to Danilo. Rakitic out to Messi. Get it across. He does out to Paulinho. Rakitic. Oh, just over to Stegen to take the goal kick. So, um, disastrous start. Gerard Piquet has gone off injured. Um, Stefan de Vrij was carrying an injury coming into the match, so we had no centre-back on the bench. So what I've had to do is put Danilo Pereira in defence, as Iniesta, who's a substitute, came on. Um, yeah, we brought Iniesta on. We moved Rakitic back to the deep-line playmaker role, and Iniesta is on. Um, yeah, that is not good. Not a good start to the season to have PK go off and it was a straight gone off injured So maybe doesn't look so good there as to Stegen did something there He kind of glitched that one wide didn't he from Zaza? Um, Pareo to take the corner in it goes. Oh Murillo it could have fallen to him. It's cleared away Gabriel Parejo Gaia come on close him down Parejo forward for Zaza and Dembele will pick it up now can we launch a counter? Iniesta, Suarez. Come on, Paulinho. Suarez making the run. 
Dembele here. He's got Iniesta, Paulinho. Jordi Alba made a fruitless run. Here's Suarez off the post. Oh. So just before this highlight then, uh, we had a comment on a previous video asking me to show the camera settings that we have because they liked how much it showed of the match. Um, so take a screenshot or um, pause it here if you want, but that is what we have it set at. Um, we have it on the sideline camera and then we've just adjusted the height and the zoom as um, to, to my liking. Um, and I, I do like it. I don't like having the match on director view because I don't like it flipping from round, uh, round and about. I don't mind it for the replays, but not for the actually the live match. If Zaza drills one just wide, I like it just being a fixed view. Um, it's probably from watching TV, uh, watching matches on the telly, I guess. But that is uh, that is how I have it set up. So I uh, I hope that helps. Half time then, and an absolutely dire match so far um, we've passionately said keep going out there and you can still win this one and it looks to have gone down really really well and uh, nil nil in the first leg wouldn't be a terrible result for sure but we won some away goals but it does mean that it makes editing this first match really rather easy in yesterday to take the free kick goes long looking for Suarez he's headed it down and Samuel Umtiti with a stunning stunning finish and we draw first blood at Mestaya. it's an away goal it's a brilliant delivery from Iniesta and what a header down and what a finish oh I tell you that is gonna be a goal of the season contender and it's the first goal we've scored this season Samuel Umtiti with an absolute screamer I mean that was just postage stamp stuff and um, we're straight in with a highlight here he is in Yesta we've got to end up with a mammoth second half now aren't we I bet with, uh, with just loads of goals loads of chances loads of action I hope we do really do because that first half was a snooze fest but here are Valencia looking to cancel out that goal Parejo it's an away goal I didn't check I think away goals count uh, oh I tell you that is going to be a goal of the season contender and it's the first goal we've scored this season. Samuel Umtiti with an absolute screamer. I mean that was just postage stamp stuff. Um, we're straight in with a highlight here. Here's Iniesta. We've got to end up with a mammoth second half now aren't we I bet with, uh, with just loads of goals, loads of chances, loads of action. I hope we do, really do because that first half was a snooze fest. But here are Valencia looking to cancel out that goal. Parejo, it's an away goal. I didn't check. I think away goals count. Uh, I think we go on the away goals rule. But here's Rodrigo with a great chance. And Tostegan holds it. Here's Lato to Soler. He's a player I'm keeping my own. Carlos Soler, he's a really good young player. Here's Simone Zaza. Pulls it across for Rodrigo and he's hit the bar. Iniesta, Paulinho. Iniesta. Oh, loose touch. Parejo's played Rodrigo in and he's hit the post. Oh, we are living a charmed life at the minute. Three times they have hit the woodwork. Uh, so Rafinha's coming on for Leo Messi for the final uh, 15 minutes or so. Just to give him some match time and give Messi a rest because he's looking tired. All my players are looking tired now. All of Valencia players are looking tired. But we've got eight minutes to go. This will be a big, big win to take to Camp Nou for the second leg. It would put us really right in the driving seat. I want to start this season winning this trophy. We lost it, of course, with that ridiculous comeback from Real Madrid after we beat them 3-0 in the first leg. They then beat us 5-1 in the Camp Nou um, while I was still trying to tweak my tactic. As a goal scorer, Umtiti picks up a yellow card, but this match has been absolutely dis dire. It's been awful. And, oh, Umtiti's off. Oh, my God. Our cent central defence now is non-existent. We've got Stefan de Vrij injured, although he might be back for the second leg. Piquet's going to be out. And now so is Umtiti. And I have no substitutes, do I? I've, I've made them all. <laughs> Great. Rakitic, back you go, boy. Oh, no, actually, Paulinho, back you go into, cent into central defence. Sorry, dude. Go on, get back there. Thank you. Paulinho into centre-back. Then <laughs> look at that. My centre-backs are really suited to that role, aren't they? Throwing for Fernandez then, where we've held on. I mean, there's been no highlights since we um, went down to 10 men. There could be one here. It is past the four minutes stoppage time, but the cross comes in to Stegen holds. That should be it. Blow your whistle, ref. Blow your whistle, ref. Dembele has it. Ew, don't blow your whistle, ref. Here's Rafinha. 
Got Suarez with him. It's a poor ball though. Montoya heads away. Soler hits it long looking for Nani. Brings it down well. Blow your whistle, ref. Mia's in and it's cleared, but Pareo has it. Oh, and the shot comes in and it's wide. Why are you not blowing your whistle, referee? Come on. There it is. There's the final whistle. It's a big win, but it's a costly win. Oh my God, we've lost PK and Umtiti. If that is a big injury for PK, we are right in the sh trouble. Um, but we're going to just say calmly a good win because it was an awful match. But we won. Oh, Gerard Piquet is out for four weeks. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, well, at least some TT will be around for the league. He's going to miss the second leg. He, the thing, you only get uh, Super Copper. Uh, Super Copper red cards only count for the Super Copper. So he will only miss one game. And it is just the second leg, which is good. Um, right. Let's call up some young'uns then for that second leg. So we just before the second leg, we have quick development in the Coutinho saga. Um, they've asked to delay the move because they haven't signed a replacement yet. Now we do only have, what, a week and a half left of the transfer window. I'm thinking I'm going to reject this delay and pull out of the deal. I know um, that I don't control transfers, but there's no option for anything else to happen here. I have to either accept the delay or reject the delay here. Now, the problem is I need a centre-back, ideally, and I need a striker, a backup striker, because Ab you know, I'm happy with Abel Ruiz being a backup, but if Suarez gets injured for two or three months, it's going to be an awful lot to expect Abel Ruiz to pick up the slack um, or to play Messi there. And there are options, but I'd rather have an out-and-out -out striker brought in so what I am going to do is I'm going to reject the delay in the hope that we maybe bring in players that can cover the positions that we need. This then is the team that we've gone for for the second leg. Couple of changes, couple of enforced ones, of course. Uh, so we've got Tostegan in goal again. Jordi Alba once again at left back with Sergio Roberto coming in at right back. Um, we've had to bring up a couple of B team defenders um, into the first team here. We've got Chumi and Rodrigo Tarin as a centre-back pairing. Stefan de Vrij is still not fit um, and Umtiti and PK of course are not available. Uh, in front of them we've gone wholesale change. We've got Sergi Samper coming into the deep line playmaker role. Carlos Selenia and Rafinha in the centre with Delafeu coming in for Dembele and then Messi and Suarez completing the attack. The plan is to bring Abel Ruiz on, Denis Suarez on, um, possibly Di Maria. We'll see how things go. Hopefully no more injuries because I can't take any more. So we're at the Camp new today then, of course. 4-4-2 uh, again from Valencia. We should be able to do this even with a weakened central defence. Um, really excited with this midfield trio. I think they can really do a good job for us. And hoping De Feo can do something as well. So let's get to the team talk. And we are mm, passionate or assertive. What should we do? Let's do assertive, and you deserve to win the trophy. I expect you to do it. Yes, come on. So Valencia get the game underway. They need to score at least two if they're going to go through in 90 minutes. A 1-0 win, of course, would take it to possibly extra time, maybe straight to penalties. To Stegen with the goal kick, Jordi Alba, Chumi, Samper, who I cannot wait to see playing this role more and more. Elena across to Messi, Messi driving forward now, trademark Messi run out to Delafeu. Jordi Alba's on the overlap but didn't use him. He's come to Suarez and he's turned and shot wide. Messi with the corner, Chumi looks to get onto it, it's cleared away. Elena, lovely back heel to Samper. Keeps the ball back to Sergio Roberto. Samper. Lovely ball for for Messi. Throwing Jordi Alba. Samper. Good tackle. Samper again and again. And now Alenia. Oh, he tried to feed it through and it's still alive. Here's Jordi Alba. Just fat trying to thread the needle, aren't we? And we do eventually. Delafeu to Suarez. And that's 2 0 on aggregate. That should be the trophy done. They now need to score two. 
they need 2-1 for them would put would give them the trophy it's a lovely goal we knocking and knocking on the door weren't we and Suarez finally smashes his way through throwing for Jordi Alba so this has been almost as bad as the first leg it really hasn't they've been a game and a half so far that have been absolutely terrible I hope it's not a portent of the things to come this season it has been dross here's Messi though let's get a second goal let's put it to bed Luis Suarez what a hit what a save that was a flying stop oh he's in oh from the corner from that last shot with a stunning save Carlos Alenia um, he's gone down as a Pareo own goal unfortunately but look at this from Messi clipped out and a stunning volley from Alenia wow that was, um, I mean, it's gone down as an own goal, but what a corner routine that was. Can they get a goal back here? Rodrigo to Nani, and that was awful, but Rodrigo keeps it alive, and Alenia charges it down, and Delefeu can set Suarez away. All of a sudden, we've come to life a little bit. It's 2-0, 3-0 in aggregate. The trophy is ours. It is dead and buried now. Here's Jordi Alba. Gets the cross again. Messi beaten in the air. Rafinha, Sergio Roberto on the overlap. Ball in for Suarez! Oh, we are rampant all of a sudden. It is, what, two goals in two or three minutes there, I think. Luis Suarez with a lovely header. Rafinha out to Sergio Roberto here. And the ball across is expertly headed in. Love how he backs away and nods that home. 3-0 at half time, then 4-0 on aggregate. And that is the trophy in the cabinet. It's great to win it after losing it last season and uh, we've passionately said very pleased to keep it going it's gone down well we are bringing Di Maria on for Carlos Alenia who is a bit tired he was a bit tired going into the match so he is getting a rest Luis Suarez I'm hoping wraps up his hat trick in the next 15 minutes because I want to give Abel Ruiz a good run out but I don't really want to take off Suarez when he's on a brace but he's coming off around about the hour mark regardless so Get that hat-trick, Lewis, or uh, risk being unhappy. Montoya, infield to Soler, out to Cito on the left. Gets a cross in, Jordi Alba heads away, Parejo, Nani. They're coming out looking for goals, aren't they? Oh, they should have had one there. Zaza didn't continue the run, but it comes to Nani, and it is a goal for Valencia. It's 4-1 on aggregate. It's not going to happen. Don't worry, it's not going to happen. Uh, Montoya played that's a lovely ball there Zaza didn't gamble on it did he he, sh he had a tap in instead it's played back across and Nani is there to finish to Stegen with the free kick out to Sergio Roberto do like Sergio Roberto I've said it before but he can play any number of positions he's really really good that's a bit of an aimless ball though Lato keeps it in if they did get a second I would be a little bit worried, it has to be said. Uh, Zaza on the halfway line. Parejo looking to set Rodrigo away. And the high line is going to catch us here. And to Stegen rescues us. Oh, my word. It is 4-2 as Jason Murillo, one of our stars from our inter save, the centre-back, with a thumping finish. It's a really great finish. And it is 4-2 on aggregate. Boys. What are you doing? Messi, put it to bed again. Oh, free kick just over. Delefeu, Rafinha. Delefeu, come on. Samper, Sergio Roberto now. Messi. Sergio Roberto again. Di Maria, it's a nice play. Suarez off the bar. That was the hat trick. Oh, that was the pre-substitution hat trick. It should have been. Corner for Di Maria. We've seen some corner goals today. It's going to be another one. That's Chumi is beaten in the air. Is it Di Maria taken again? It is. In it goes, looking for Chumi again. It's headed away. Delefeu. Hit it, hit it, hit it. It does. Ugh. Jordi Alba with the throw. Takes it long down the line, looking for Delefeu, but he's lost out in the air. Here's Rodrigo. Gone for goals to Stegen Holds. So Mario Fernandez has come on. He came on about 10 minutes ago, um, but the game has just died, really. Here's Rafinha, though. Can we, can we top it off with another goal? Can we get the final goal of the game? Jordi Alba down to Delefeu. Into Di Maria. Come on, give it to Abel Ruiz. I want Abel Ruiz scoring. Rafinha. Oh, good ball. Messi. 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 Goal, 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 goal. Leo Messi with a brilliant, brilliant goal. It's a lovely move. Rafinha played it forward here to the majestic Argentinian. And that is what Messi does, isn't it? Cuts in, fires it in. 
So we're over the three minutes allotted. There it is. The throwing from Montoya is the last action. Oh, it went in. Um, and we've won the trophy. It's fantastic. We ended last season winning La Liga. We start this season by winning the Super Copa. Absolutely delighted. 5-2 aggregate win. Really, really happy with that, especially with the changes we made. Some enforced on us, uh, some out of choice. Um, but really, really happy in the end with that. What a great way to start the season. We are going to passionately say congratulations, enjoy these moments. I know it's only the Community Shield equivalent, but it's a trophy for players like Chumi and Tarin and um, Carlos Elena and Abel Ruiz and Sergio Samper to be involved in winning a trophy like this. Fantastic. So that is it, guys. That's the end of this video. Um, hopefully, in the next video, which is not sure what it's going to be at the moment um probably one of the champions league group games i guess hopefully with what nine ten days left of the transfer window something is going to happen i am scouting some strikers that i want to come in hopefully now that we've cancelled the coutinho deal hopefully we can get someone in um but it's going to be a bit uh, a bit tight to get someone in in a week and a half but we've got to do it anyway guys if you did enjoy this remember to smash that thumbs up button it really helps the channel and subscribe if you haven't already and when you do subscribe just click that little bell and then you will know when a video comes out um these normally come out on a tuesday and a friday it's been a little hit and miss recently uh, apologies for that um but i have got other videos coming out i've just released one going through the tactic that I use and one's looking into the future. Um, I've seen for 25 years and we've done a couple of videos on those. Links down below, there's more to come in that series. Um, but yeah, start with the trophy, not bad. Um, and yeah, get involved as always, comment below. I love reading them, I love it. And I will see you very soon for the next video. Thanks a lot guys, bye bye.